Hi guys! If you've just come to the end of year 10 or the end of year 9 and are looking forward to a long, long summer, that is fantastic. I really, really hope you enjoy it. But if you're wanting to get a grade 8 or a grade 9 in science or maths, then there are a few things you need to be doing over the summer. One of the problems with the new exam specification is that there is a large amount of recall before we even get to the application questions. Now the application questions you're going to need to do in school, you're going to need to do with the teacher, but the recall questions, stuff that we can do over the summer holiday. And if you have the recall sorted before you go back in year 11, then you are going to find things so much easier. So what sort of things am I talking about? I'm talking about in physics, your units and your equations. There is so, so much for you to learn here. Um, the previous years they had, they were given the form machine in the exam, it was a page and a half long. All they had to learn were the units. Unfortunately, you guys do not get given the formula sheet. You have to learn about five sides of equations and the units to go with them. Um, now, to help you with this, I've done flashcards. You can download the revision guide from my website for free, which has it all in, and you just need to learn them. You can make your own flashcards, um, but your life is going to be so much easier if you have done all the learning, all the recall over the summer holidays. And again, if we're talking about recall things in maths, then your times tables are going to be a fantastic, fantastic place to start. I've just done a massive playlist on that as well. I'm not talking about doing loads and loads of work, not like hours and hours a day, but once you have your flashcards made, once you have your flashcards sorted, um, it's going to take a while to sort them out, to make them, but once you've done them, you can use them the whole way through. And then you can just spend five minutes a day with the flashcards learning them. And I promise, promise, promise you, it really, really will benefit you in Year 11 if you just spend a little bit of time over the summer holiday just um, doing the flashcards, going over things, making sure you've got your recall sorted. So, equations and units in physics, times tables in maths, um, biology and chemistry, there's not like, there's not really anything similar like your units, but there are a few equations that you need to learn. You could do all of your keywords. You can even go crazy and go into languages and start doing flashcards for all of your keywords. I'm not talking about loads of work. It doesn't have to be like really, really hard, thinky stuff. It's just time consuming stuff and you have these glorious, glorious six weeks where occasionally you might get, just get a little bit bored, maybe. And then we can think about just spending some time making some flashcards. Not like mentally taxing, um, but sort of stuff that will really, really help you out in year 11. I do loads of stuff over my website to help you out. Um, I am taking a little break due to new person, um, but uh, around about Christmas time, maybe sooner, then you can just expect loads and loads of stuff from me again. Having a good summer, guys. <laughs> 